Hello, I'm Matthew from Ludovox and today I'm going to compare uh, Watson and Holmes and Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective. So both games are published by Space Cowboys, have the same theme, uh, are in the same uh, kind of mood, which is uh, investigation and crime stories. And both of them are scenario-based, but they are really different. So for example, Watson and Holmes is a competitive game. The, the basic idea of the game is that you have a case to solve and uh, you are one investigator and the case is uh, made up with cards which are contained in envelopes and you're going to, re to read them and to deduce, to try to be faster than the others to deduce, well, the solution of the case. And the case is presented on, on the, this uh, paper sheet so you get a briefing, three questions that you need to answer to win the game, and then uh, inside the, the booklet, it is basically a very small booklet, you have uh, the solution. So please do not read this at home before playing. And in Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective, um, you it is really different. It is more there is more emph emphasis on the the narrative of the game. So you're going to have a booklet, a scenario booklet, and it's going to have a briefing but you don't have any objectives. Basically, you're going to have to decide the objectives for yourselves during the game, and they are going to be revealed at the end. So the booklets have paragraphs here, and the paragraphs all correspond to a location that is indicated on the map. So um, you're going to try to um, carve your way uh, through London, and the paragraphs are not going to tell you, okay, uh, you have to choose between going there and going there. It's not a choose-your-own-adventure type game. Uh, it, it's really free and you get to decide where to go, what to do, and it's, it's fairly um, free form. You're going to uh, play the way, the way you want. Uh, in addition to that, you have some elements. So you have newspapers that uh, allude to what goes on in London and the world. Uh, at the same time. And these are really important because they might hold clues onto uh, what criminals do or uh, uh, where to find that specific item that you're looking for, etc, etc. And you also have a phone book. So the uh, phone and address book is going to give you, um, well, directions. So you can look out, uh, look up the names of, of people and then uh, find where they live and you can visit them that way. You also have some services, so yellow pages of sorts, and uh, you can, for example, uh, there is uh, the gambling tables or um, the, um, the hospitals, etc, etc. So if you need to get to a certain hospital or gambling club, uh, you go there and you find it. And um, in Watson and Holmes, so as I told you, there is just a um, the board which is laid out with the cards and um, we are going to try to to be the fastest to solve the case. The one who is the fastest wins, whereas here we play all together it is cooperative. Uh, so in Watson and Holmes uh, you're going to try to get the best clues possible and if you get a really good clue you're going to try to forbid the access uh, of that clue with a, t a few tokens. And uh, there are ways to get around those tokens, obviously. And you, you also have a system, um, a carriage token system, to outbid people because you want to keep a, a location for yourself or you want to really badly to get there and see that clue and because you think it's more valuable or whatever. So this is really important in, in uh, Watson and Holmes. It is really a racing game um, with some denial in it, whereas Sherlock Holmes Consulting Detective is like a narrative experience. You're going to, um, let's say, solve the case together, but you're going to, um, to cut through the fog because you don't, you don't have a clue on what, what goes on. And uh, at the end of the game, when you decide, you can, uh, you can create the end game by saying, okay, we try to solve the case. Then you flip the book over, uh, look at the last page, so the first page of, of the book, but in reverse order, and you will have two series of questions. And these questions might surprise you, might give you uh, a few hints as to how good are you, 
have you followed the right lead or whatever and you have an, env an envelope with the, the answers and finally you measure yourself against Sherlock Holmes. So he gives you his demonstration, the, the golden path that you could have taken if you had been the best. So you're going to try to measure your score uh, with Sherlock Holmes. And um, the more leads you take, the lower your score. Whereas here in Watson and Holmes, once you think you have the answer, you go there to 221B Baker Street. Uh, you try to solve the questions. If you're right, the game is over, you win. Otherwise, you are eliminated, you get there, and you're going to be uh, assisting the other players who might ask you questions as Sherlock Holmes. Well, you know almost everything there is to know about these two games. If you want to have more details about them, uh, you can click on the boxes, on either of the boxes, uh, to get access to an overview of those games. Bye, see you in the box.